Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the session. This is the last lecture of the topic word. So we are going to focus on the last approach, linguistic, uh, the word as a linguistic unit. So in this, there are some certain deficiencies and I am going to simply focus on uh, the words and the examples and uh, with my pronunciation as well as and uh, somewhere in certain terms. This third kind of approach uh, to the definition, <coughs> definition of word, a simple and reasonable definition is in terms not of pose but of potential pose. Which potential pose? Uh, the spaces which are found in writing convention. So we can establish word by asking where we can pause if we wish so. So we know that there are three words. I saw John because we can divide by pausing into I saw John. Further we can divide I saw John. But this is unsatisfactory. And uh, because we almost certainly pose where we know the spaces would come in writing. I mean, in a similar way, we're trying to give pause as required in writing. So then what is the difference between speech and writing? This is then merely takes over the written word by allowing potential pause. And uh, then Surely we can pause in deliberate speech between the parts of postman. So this is one word. So all these examples in these words you will find, although it appears to be a single word, but the sound that it produces is separate one. It shows a definite pause. Postman sleepless sleepless discuss discuss two syllable absolute syllable consider consider and in this way it is very hard then there are similar difficulties with any definition of the word as an indivisible unit i mean a unit which cannot be divided so here he also points out where it can be divided. For instance, it is suggested for, for instance that a word is a linguistic unit which does not permit the insertion of any other linguistic material. I mean it cannot be divided. So what happens for instance we know the little boy is two words because we can insert English. English little English boy but we cannot insert anything within say singing so I mean a word may be inserted with other words in between them as uh, seen in uh, writing convention uh, like spaces but what about the word like singing this is this too turns out to be a false for we can divide singing into two parts so if little cannot be you know divided english cannot be divided boy cannot be divided what about singing dancing reading writing so these two words because one is a root word and other is inflection ing so they may be divided so by this way the uh, definition is not up to the mark and of course we did not insert a word or even the whole words, but that is no objection. We have not yet established what a word is if we cannot require that no insertion criterion applies only to complete words. I mean, uh, it is said that no such definition which can correspond to the existing definition in uh, certain words uh, I mean, uh, has not, I mean, it is very difficult to find. Next. 
let us uh, focus what uh, the author has uh, I mean how he has found the fault in the definition which has been uh, given by a very famous American linguist. A famous definition, a word as a minimum free form, the smallest bit of speech that can occur in isolation. What defects do you notice in Leonard Bloomsfield definition of word as minimum free form? Let's examine. So minimum free form what he meant was the smallest bit of speech that can occur in isolation. But again, we are prepared to utter in isolation is almost certainly that we have learned to recognize a word in writing. I mean, in a similar way, it seems that we are going to produce such sounds based upon uh, the spaces which are found in writing. Then he says, okay, what about uh, conversation? We should find it difficult to provide a context for the occurrence in isolation. Now he gives the example. The example is the or an, the book, the house. Uh, I mean, the sometimes is so tightly embedded with its known that in sound it doesn't appear to be a separate word it is not in in isolation uh, i mean it seems to be joined with the other one in sound actually in speech we are trying to analyze this so so what is the word in the book are even apparently harmless what comes before the book ultimately the comes before the book it is obvious that questions like this, the questions about language cannot fairly be used to establish what words are. I mean, these type of the question, if they are analyzed, so the definition of word cannot be found. Firstly, we think again that we already know what words are. And secondly, we can produce a quite bogus words by asking for instance, what comes before ject in reject, ultimately RE comes before that. Similarly, boys, S comes after that. In other words, anything can occur in isolation. So it is occurring in isolation and uh, this is occurring in isolation in sound, reject, reject. So this is something like that. And then one way of uh, the difficulty that has been proposed is to say that words like the, uh, my, uh, while not themselves minimum free forms. I mean, these words do not fit uh, with the definitions of uh, Bloom's field. So they are not in uh, um, a minimum free form. So they are, you know, embedded with other word and showing the one meaning and uh, uh, simply uh, missing in the speech zone uh, to great extent, if not uh, absolutely, but to great extent. For instance, a uh, are like this, that. So similarly, English possessive s, it represents of, like Jones, is like of. It means of John. So it means it conceives the idea of two words, although it is a similar word, but there is an isolation. And somewhere there is no isolation in possessive, but in meaning uh, it is isolated. Uh, next. The possessive S as Jones is like of and prefix intolerance. Intolerance in because it is associated with not. It represents not. Like not. So again, uh, this would not be a good argument for treating them as a 
as words. So, I mean, they may not be the two, two words, the single word. And there is a story about the film producer, Sam Goldwine. Uh, Goldwineism, in which he allegedly said, I can describe your proposal in just two words. Impossible. So try to focus on the sound production. Impossible. 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 When somebody stresses on the very first syllable. Impossible. So this is quite interesting. Moreover, some of these forms are not used in isolation because language has a different form for use there. So I think this is uh, the last page. So traditional concept of grammar, since the word is not clearly definable linguistic unit, we have to recognize some kind of unit that corresponds closely to the written word and define in terms of combination of its described features. So this is uh, the main, uh, you know, this is the summary of this uh, text. So in conclusion, the word is not clearly definable linguistic. And uh, the reason is that it may be seen, the word may be seen in a different context. And, uh, but there is no single and perfect definition of a word so far uh, in all the, uh, you know, uh, approaches in which we have gone through. So this is the end of today's session. And uh, inshallah, I am going to continue the next uh, topic as soon as possible. Thank you very much.